Now, here comes the music. Well, everyone, it is Tuesday night. It is. Oh, we're going to Matt, 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 uh, Matt uh, Nathan here. It is Tuesday night. It is eight o'clock. And you, if you're on Twitch watching, welcome to the DJ Roundtable. You're watching this on YouTube. You missed the show. You're a week behind. In the past two weeks, I have had customer meetings on Tuesday, so haven't had a show for the past two weeks, unfortunately. I do apologize, but business comes first. Uh, this is my passion project. I love doing this. I love sharing ideas and what we've done. Uh, tonight, I have, so far, I have DJ Mike James. I have DJ Fire, Nathan. Um, I, Abe Alley, the Abe Alley podcast is also supposed to come in. He told me he'll be in shortly. Uh, Matt was here for a second or two, was connected, and got dropped. So hopefully he'll be able to get in. Buddy, can you hear me? I'm sorry. There what's he right? is. Oh, you're, there we go. Okay. There. Yep. There, we got sound now. That, oh, ow. <laughs> and uh, as always, you know, we mm. try to share information, try to share stuff that we're doing in our businesses to help, hopefully help your business out. And uh, some best practices that we are oh. doing. Um, oh. I wanted to talk about, uh, I don't know if you guys seen it or not tonight uh, or today, or you guys get a chance to check out Mike James' channel. He oh. uh, was having some problems <laughs> with Rockville uh, products, and he had an update video today of those products. And uh, Mike, if you want to fill the people in what you were doing, what you originally ran into, uh, what happened uh, previously? Um, go ahead. I bought. I originally I bought the Mini RF ones. Think, you know, thinking they were going to be an uplight solution, which they're way underpowered for that. So they're more of an accent light. Uh, Rockville had commented on my YouTube video. You know, they they did an updated post yeah, saying that the, the oh, RF ones good, would yeah. now pair up. With the rock wedges, and and to, to some degree that is true, That's but what they were doing is. was uh, they put out I would say a next generation rock wedge. And hey, if Rob, you see my video, Rob, hey, hey, hey Abe, uh, so real quickly, just real quick as we go around to Abe. There's Mike, Mike, Nathan, Nathan, <laughs> Abe, uh, hey, Abe, Abe, Abe Alley podcast. And we're going over Mike. Mike uh, put a video up today about Rockville with the R ones and the rock wedges, and he he's going. We're going he's recapping what was happening previously to go into what he did the video today. So I'm sorry, Mike. Go ahead. So um, yeah, so you know the RF ones, and, and not only that, but like the Shed six by eighteens, which are the Bolt S S sixes. Uh, as well as the Bolt S6 and a Rockville Par 60, you know, they're saying that these that these RF1s are gonna are, are now going to pair up with them, but that's that wasn't the truth. You know, I mean, the the problem is is that one, the new generation rock wedges will par up with the RF1, but the RF1 is the control light. And, and if you know anything about the RF1s, that's very upsetting, you know, in a sense that, you have zero control over that light, especially in wireless DMX mode. You have no remote control. You have no RF doesn't work. Um, the, the the rock wedges, the the six by eighteens, and the Vespar sixties are a superior light to the RF one, but the RF one is controlling the ship. That's that's basically a recap of like what it was all about. And to me, that is a. The R the R ones look like a um they they look like an ape lab kind of light. They kind of look like an ape lab. They don't do what ape lab can do. You know, Rockville says, hey, you know, I want this light to look like this brand. And again, the, the Rockville is a like Chave, like anyone else, you know, American DJ. They come up products and sometimes they kind of mimic each other. I can't say copy because that's, that's that's too strong of a term because start getting lawsuits, but they kind of times mimic each other a little bit for certain things. They kind of like, I want to feel kind of like this, but not exactly yeah, like this. And the, um, well, I believe they're all these companies, buddy, are getting the lights from the same place. 
dollars. Oh yeah, there, there's there's a, there's a couple they're manufacturers just putting, in China making them. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're slapping a sticker on it. Yeah, yeah, and it's not even copying at that point. It's all the same product. Well, so when people go have in my videos, oh, those are Chinese lights. I'm like, they're all Chinese lights. Oh, well, yeah, they're all made in China. Except for, but, the, except but for like, Ape Labs because they're from Germany. But Well, no, they're made in China now. Ape Labs are now made in China? They're made in China. That, that's why uh, I heard. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I don't own Ape Lab, but someone told me, another DJ said, no, they're made in China now. I'm like, really? Well, I yeah, they, I, mean, I, I don't know 100%, too, so that right? would be they're something that would too. have to... Someone had to tell me, but I heard that. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't want to say, yeah, it is. If it is, whatever. You know, China's a big manufacturer. If it's still made in Germany, that's great. If they're made in China, they're made in China. There's, it, it doesn't matter. I always know the reason they're made in Germany. When I researched them, because people were asking me about them, you know, the R1s well, compared to the Ape Labs. Well, oh, turn it down. Man. Yeah, the the RF ones um, again. They 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 mimic the um, uh, Ape Lab. They, they mimic Ape Labs. They also mimic uh, a couple other brands too. You know, and Xiaomi does it. They all kind of mimic, they all try and get similar products. You know, Xiaomi well, has a web. Lighting, ADJ has a web. Just came out with the RF models. But like just, Rick Webb just did a video about it, and you guys know Rick Webb. He's he's a dealer for both lighting. They just got him. Now he's trying to sell off all them RF ones at a huge discount, and he's and he is advocating the RF fours, but they have the same limitations uh, functionality wise. I have sixteen of those coming. Of which ones? RF fours. The RF fours are impressive. I mean, they are a four by twelve light. You probably, I, have... I wrote to you last week on your YouTube asking you about the brightness. Right. The because... one, the one by 12, I did post another video doing a wedding reception with them side by side with the three by 18 rock bills yeah. or the rock wedges. I don't know if you saw that or not. And they're not bad, honestly. No, I mean, I but actually, now I just, I actually bought a couple just to see, um, just to see what they were in, in person. The right. quality is good. I mean, just for a single 12 watt diode, it's pretty good. And I did a quick, fast review on my channel uh, against an 18 watt LED. And that's, you know, it's quite the difference. But um, I have 16 of the uh, RF4s coming with charging cases. So I'm pretty excited. The, R the RF4s have a better beam angle. They're actually wider, which is why you get they that are, great yeah. effect off of them. And uh, like I said, I'm only using them to uplight my totems in my booth now. Yeah, because I that way I my totems with the RF ones, but I sent them back. <clears throat> right, and they work really well for that. But the RF fours are impressive, but you're gonna have the same problems with the functionality of them. They're not gonna pair up to unless you're running a you know a DMX controller. So, I I was gonna ask you. Uh, nice to meet you guys. I'm Abe Alley. Um, Hey, buddy nice and I have been, thanks, for, thanks for watching my channel. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I, me and Buddy have been talking for a few years, and I haven't been on ever since he did the uh, the switch. So, um, actually, him and I started the first thing together. Um, yes. but, but I wanted to ask you, Mike. Um, so I have uh, the DMX Go. I'm hoping those will pair up with those. So, does the DMX Go have a color, like a color-based DMX wireless control system? Because they have to be in red. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've never used it. I actually got it uh, when I bought my um, po uh, Pocket Pros. My buddy right. Jamie sent it to me. And uh -huh. I asked him, he, said, he thinks that they're going to pair up fine. So... I hope With so. With a DMS controller, I don't think they have a problem. The the one flaw in the whole system is that the RF ones are based on the red channel. And if you know about your wireless DMX lights, the red channel is like the default channel. So it's gonna like any lights like so like I usually <laughs> set all my other lights to blue, like DJ Bar. You know what I mean? Like all my lights will be set to blue. That way they're not gonna like uh, compete for that red wireless DMX signal. They'll do something completely different. 
But as long as those will be on the red channel, you should be able to like sync all them lights together. Yeah, and those so. RF boards, they so. look great. I mean, the RF boards look great. I think that beam projection is going to be really nice for you. Yeah. Then, like I said, I I have uh, 14 18 watt LED uplights now. They're they're a cheap brand, but they do the trick. And um, I just wanted to get into some DMX stuff, and I saw the minis come out. And then, of course, Rick Webb beat me to the review video. But yeah, well, I um, did, hey man, I did mine like four months ago, yeah, right? And um, so I, I mean, I, I was really I, I I bought them when they first came out, thinking these were going to be amazing, and they are. And, and I mean, don't get me wrong, they're really it's not good. A bad just product. the twelve watt LED single diode is just not bright enough. It's just not bright enough. Well, two of them in my totems and four of them behind my booth look fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then and then right in front of me, I use the other two, and then I put my rock wedges, and then I can have my booth do one thing, and I can have my room do something else. Sure. And that's actually yeah. a pretty cool effect. Yeah, that yeah, lets me do to... the combinations and, and make that effective. Mike, I was talking to Nathan a little bit uh, earlier, and I, I said that's kind of a good thing to have it on two separate frequencies, having those R1s on one frequency. Sure. You can do like a head table or do something that you want to highlight one area and have it separate from your wedges or anything else and have it two Absolutely. separate frequencies and have that separation. Just have them, okay, these lights, all you do is set them for whatever color. They stay stagnant. That's it. They're one trick pony done yeah, and over you, with. You definitely don't always want it to be monochromatic. You know what I mean? You definitely don't want it always to be static and be the same thing. Like right. if you see that picture I took at the moose where my back my rock wedges are in pink and my and my RF ones are in purple, that looks amazing. And you wouldn't be able to do that if you have them all synced up. You know what I mean? You need them to be separate like that. So right. you're basically running two groups at that point. And that's that's one of the things that, you know, with uh, up lighting or DMX lighting, it, it's 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 always a kind of a uh, you gotta figure out what you want to do. The downside on like the Rockville and the other lights are all connected together. They're one free one channel, so they all do the same thing. Um, I, you know, I, I, you guys know, I bought some Astera lights, and the Astera lights with the app and the wireless transmitter, you can make each light do something. Not only have each light a different color, you can have them, you know, uh, flash different colors. So you could have like let's say you had two colors going. You could have you could program a scene is. that they're all blue, then all of a sudden um orange comes up through one by oh, one by one cool. by one by one. So, so all six like lights a, you see it's like from one wave. side to the other side. That's that's pretty cool. I know DJ right. Fire, he he knows a little bit more about the wireless DMX controller part of it. I mean, I don't use one. I mean, it's just not necessary for what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I mean, could I put a better show together? Sure. But he does have a lot of experience. So if uh, if Abe and them, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really use yeah, one. So, I, I, I make so the lights Nate, do what I want. I have a question for you. You talking so, to me? Yes. Okay, sorry. Do, do you want to go by Nate or Nathan? Um, native. <laughs> when I was younger, my mom's landlord used to call me Natimus. There you go. <laughs> so, call just call him Natty. Or, Natty or, or, or the girls that I went to school with called me Natty. Natty Ice. All right. So. Natty Ice. There you go. Natty Ice. Natty Ice. Oh, boy. New name. Oh, boy. DJ fires now. Natty Ice now on folks. Natty Ice. Natty so, Ice. I like it. I, I have I'll go change my YouTube fours. channel name right now. <laughs> right. DJ so RF fours are coming. I've got sixteen of them coming, and I was telling Mike I have the uh, DMX Go. Mm -hmm. So, will I be able to do shows with those, or will all they be the same all the time? Well, the now you're going to run that off a tablet, right? Yeah, I got it right here. Okay, that's funny. From I didn't what, even plan from that. What I've learned from um, me and Mike uh, DJ. Uh, Mike James know the same guy that runs uh, sound source and music over in Matt Toon. He runs all his lightings off of a tablet. Yeah, you can. It's basically setting like the same thing with an analog controller. You got to set scenes. 
Okay. And then you put those scenes into chases if you want them to chase. Or if you just want – like when I did the the uh, prom last year, I set a bunch of scenes. So I had like when they were doing the crowning and the tiara stuff, I had them set to do blue and white strobe. So I'd reach up and I set that scene as like scene four. So I'd reach up at scene yeah. four. Half of them would do blue, half of them would do white, and they would alternate strobe. Um, and then when I was, you know, done, I'd reach up and hit one. They would go back to steady colors, or I would. But in know, that program, Nathan, in that program, can you set different fixtures like in some of the other ones? You know what I mean, like the ADJ program. To, I think you can. You have to patch them in. From what I've learned, you have to go in, make a profile, <laughs> and then you have to go into like when you're, when you got your user manual. So sixteen channel or whatever channel you have it set in, you can go in and say, okay, channel, channel one, channel, yeah. yeah, this channel's red, this channel's green, this channel's blue, and then you go in and make that profile, and then you could tell that uh, unit what to do, and then you go to, you know, say you got one on DMX1, which all DMX goes every other 16 channels. So if you're on a A001, the next units, if you don't want it to do the exact same thing as that next unit, you want to set 17. the next one A007, and then it's, a oh, 0 yes. 48, every 16 channel. So actually, technically, every the 17th channel would be your next fixture. Yeah. Right. So this right. is the My DMX Go on my tablet. Yeah, I've seen that. I've been thinking about getting the uh, what DJ Bar uses. Uh, show Express? No, that's Rick Webb. Um, I have Show Express, too. So. He's the DJ one. Well, a, uh, ADJ Airstream Bridge, yeah, which that's is what all Wi Fi. Yeah. No, it's not Wi Fi, it's Wi Fly. Wi Fly. A lot of the ADJ units have Wi Fi capables built into them, the newer ones. So yeah. all you have to do is go in there and say, okay, I want this ADJ Hex Element Par 4 or whatever they are. You go in there, you click the little three dots at the top, it drags down, you find the ADJ light, click it, it automatically patches it in. You've already got your channel set up. So I got I have to call out um someone who I know who's an awesome, awesome DJ and awesome light designer. Um, and that's Howie Darkstar. Have you guys seen his channel? He's with yes. Jockey News. The man I, I've said it before to him personally, and I'll say it to you guys, the man is a genius. He's a he's a he's a genius with DMX lighting. He had uh, the opportunity last year to do um, a lighting job up in upstate New York uh, with a uh, with another DJ um, Eric from Good the Good Guys up north in uh, Lake Placid for the, like a Junior Olympics up there um, and the video there's drone footage is actually American DJ's website uh, they had it up there for a while of the drone footage I could watch that drone footage over and over and over again. Because all the moving heads are that he did all that with the, the wireless system from American DJ and a tablet, the software and a tablet, all ADJ stuff. So it shows me, and again, he he's he's awesome with that stuff, and it, it, he will teach you if you don't you don't mind paying him a fee. You know, you pay him a fee, he will teach you how to do it. Um, and he's a master at it. He knows it. He has it down pat. Now, uh, DJ Stolsus was telling me when I first got to talking to him, we were talking, he video chatted me one night and was talking to me about there's this, like, it goes from USB to this, like, almost like computer plug into, like, a, what they call a dongle. And then from the other side, the dongle has uh, DMX out, which you could put a wireless receiver. Mm -hmm. And then apparently the guy that he goes through, you send him – Email him a picture of your channels, and he makes the the profiles for you for like what is it, ten or fifteen dollars a, a light, or something like that. I mean, if that's something or, you're, or you, you, know, you don't you want to do it yourself, like I know Show Express, you can do it yourself. It it takes a little bit of time. Uh, I worked with another guy who knows Show Express way more than I do, um, uh, and John showed me how to do it, and I I I could do it. I could add another fixture. I figure you know I know how I kind of know how to do it. I'm not really proficient at it because I'm still playing with it and still learning stuff um but the thing is that i you know how to add fixtures i know how to add stuff because i added my uh u king lights and added all the icons for the u king so they i could see and see this is a y this is x this is you know brightness this is the shutter this is the gobo i, I see all the icons on there on show in the show express 
it just takes some time. If you learn the software and play with it, that is the key thing. There are, again, there's great people, great tutorials on YouTube. Um, oh, yeah, you know, Star, what do you have to do? It? I'm sorry, what? There's a good, there's a lot of tutorials, but the only way you're really going to learn is to actually do it. That's yeah, the thing. You, you learn some stuff, but going through it and be repetitive and using it. And yeah, actually, John told me, and I've done it a couple times. I haven't done. I, I'm waiting to this to, to get done with my <laughs> all my wedding jobs. <laughs> you guys know I have a bunch of cuts all coming up. Um, I'm waiting to get done with them because this like January and February, I'm gonna have some lights in here in my in the office here, and not only will I be back DJing, you know, a lot more on on Twitch. But also, I'm going to do stuff with lights. I'm going to use, you know, yeah. uh, the software and program and play with it and get more proficient at it while, you know, I'm down. Because January, February, we're doing wedding shows. We're talking to clients. Uh, but we're not every single Saturday, Sunday, or right. Friday, Saturday, or uh, Friday, or Saturday, or whatever. Our weekends are booked with weddings. We can I can concentrate on getting more proficient at the software. But if you ask anyone, ask any person who knows, including D Howie Darkstar, again, the, the, the guy is just fantastic at it. And he'll tell you, you have to work it. You have to use it. You have to play with it a little bit and learn it. You, you, The more you learn, the better off you are. He could teach you stuff. And again, if you don't mind paying money for him, he'll teach you. But the thing is that one of the things you need to learn it and you need to understand stuff. So that way you can be proficient at it and keep working at it. But there's there's a there's a lot of tutorials out there to use it. They'll give you walkthroughs, but it's using it over and over and over again, and making those you'll get, scenes. You'll get there. proficient and get really good at it. it. It's like a DJ controller for your lights. Yeah, right. exactly. You know, I mean, that's now, really what it is. I, I like now. I I one thing that I I eventually will try to you know get the tablet thing, and I don't know which I'm going to go for either my DMX Go or the Airstream Bridge or whatever, but so I can do cool things with moving heads. But the thing that Chave, and I think they actually nailed it here, is putting totem mode in their new moving heads. Uh, oh, now, that's cool. I know they have the new, That's cool. what is it? Uh, you have to buy the gig bar move. What is it? ILS or ALS? ILS, something that you can pair, you know, their uh, swarms and all their lights together for some cool shows, you know, which is basically kind of like DMXing. I mean, uh, would be nice, you know, if they would have done that previously to the old always get stuff, new stuff coming out. They always get new stuff coming out, and always, yeah, yeah. There's always new things. The, uh, I, but, my uh, my my three sixties have totem mode on them. They're they're, they're the generation before old. the new one. You've got yeah, you've got the generation before the new ones. But they're they have totem mode on them because I have my yeah. Totem. Gen the last two generations of moving heads that Chave has come out with, even the big what is it 475 or whatever it even has totem mode the big giant one um that's like twenty five hundred dollars right now i think a piece but um <clears throat> but yeah i think that's very cool if i'm in a rush and and don't get me wrong i don't know if you've seen my last gig i did for the class reunion those four movers in totem mode look better than two movers in totem mode i don't know what it is they have with more of them hooked together they do different things than only two of them would and i think they look good they stay on the dance floor they, they sounded really good. I mean, yeah, eventually I'm going to get to where I can, what do you call it now? I've got the big 10 R that shed sent me. Um, now I've used it to spotlight, you know, I've used it to shine up on the ceiling for, you know, it's got the prisms on it. It looks cool for, you know, because you can make them turn real slow. Like it's got a star it's effect a on it. That lights for cool. a grand opening. Yeah. That's actually what me and Mike were talking about the other day was, the next time I do the uh, prom, I'm going to set two of those on maybe some little pieces of truss outside and have them going back and forth, kind of like oh, that's cool. Like, yeah, straight yeah. beams of light. I mean, that's the what sky. they are. Those things are just stupid big, you know. Like, <laughs> who's ever going to use that as a work of DJ? You know what I mean? Right. Well, the 360s. The what do you call it? The 360s are kind of promoting too. big sheds. Has actually changed their uh, deal. It used to be sheds lighting and what do you call it? Now it's sheds. Something the big stage there they changed it. Actually, Ava sent me their new logo a couple nights ago and said to start using this on the videos because they've they've kind of changed their catchphrase. But they're wanting the big stage, like 
Um, our church is getting ready to redo the stage, and they're already talking to me about redoing lighting. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to get them set up with some big movers and stuff that's newer. And um, I told them, I said, well, I will tell you, you're going to drop a lot of money. I can get you a little bit of a discount, but 10 or 15%. <laughs> now, that's the thing. I kind of miss Brian that worked for Sheds. He would give me 30 to 50% off. Now this Ava chick is working in there, which I, what do you call it? She video chatted me once because I was having problems with something. Um, she's just a, you know, an average Chinese person, but um, <laughs> she, uh, I, she wasn't exactly going to depth. Well, I told myself, well, so why did Brian leave? And she was just like, uh, Oh, so you got that figured out. Yeah. And I was like, uh, he was doing stuff. He, I'm pretty sure he was giving discounts and sending out too much free stuff. And, they probably said, "You got to go," but you got him fired. Yeah, you, know, you got him fired. I don't got him fired, but he, was, he sent me so much stuff, yes. and I appreciate it because I get to share. Natty like gets a lot of people fired. He he drank too so, much so Natty, Natty, Natty Ice. ice. <laughs> Natty Ice. <laughs> Natty Ice. Yeah. It's a lot of people. Fired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, only, ice. I'm only. I'm only. I'm only 10% alcohol. You got to have a few of me before it hits you. Yeah. He went bye-bye. <laughs> oh, so anyway, but this she only true. gives me 10 to 15% off discounts or even 5%. Like she wanted me to do a video on this big, what was it? Uh, it was like five, almost $600 moving hand. She's like, so if you could do a video for this on us, I could give you 5% discount. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy a light to do a video for you. Send it to me if you want me to do the video. You know, well, I'm not going to spend five or six hundred dollars of my money. And some manufacturers will God. send you. Some manufacturers will send you the light or send you out speaker, and they want it back, so they they give you return shipping. They say, "Hey, yeah. do the video, have it for." Oh, like, I've never so had that they send back. <laughs> Which I've no company's ever asked me to do that. No, I, I mean they're making them for pennies on the dollar. You oh, know that yeah, they are. Like that 10R is going for $419. I'm sure they don't even spend $100 to make that thing. It's it's stupid. But I've got two new moving heads. I mean, they're only $149, I think, a piece. They're decent, but they're kind of a wash moving head. And only some colors are bright. Like the color mixing is kind of – I mean, the LEDs sit way back in the head. They're not – You ought to show, gotta show it to them because it, like, it looks like a pistol revolver. Where they yeah, really yeah, recess the lights back behind this weird housing to make it like this beehive effect oh. or something, but it's really kind of silly, you know? Well, because then it dims the light to a point that is not <laughs> effective. Let him show it to you so you can see this thing. Hold on here. Let me get it laying face down. Let me... Of course it, it is. The brown, I got the ice ice wearing his ugly like Christmas back. sweater in October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a Halloween <laughs> sweater. Right now, do not do <laughs> this Christmas sweater. It's comfy. Oh That's on Natty Eyes, too, man. That's on Natty Eyes, too. Oh, too, my man. God. Hold on here a minute. So I, I, get, I guess, Mike, because you live near him, the next time you come on here with uh, <laughs> with uh, with GJ Fire, both you got you gotta go pick some and Natty Ice up drop some Natty Ice off at him. You guys gotta have have a can just hold it up. I, buddy, I don't I, know if you could handle Natty Ice. So I'm telling are you. all of you guys just drinking? Drink I don't want any drinking on here. No drinking. What's what was that, Abe? I'm drinking. You're drinking water. water. I'm talking right, about drinking. Just, that's straight vodka, son. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, movie. right. Do you really I'm think I could do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're in Maine. You were you were on a boat for a while. You were doing yeah, lobsters. That's right. Fellas, the, the, take a look at this light, man. Look at this ridiculous thing. Those let me see here. Those LEDs are probably they're to my first knuckle, a little over my first knuckle down inside there. Yeah, there are yeah. a few inches down. Isn't that huh? crazy? That's just nuts. I mean, and it, I mean, no, of course, again, they, they got their little sticker on there, which I could easily peel off. This is, and you can <laughs> see down in there, you can see all the wiring. And I mean, it's, they're trying to make it cool because they put their little, hold on here. Oh, uh, on. that's a shot. Uh, I do like it. I do like it has an on and off switch. Uh, on off switch, but, that's nice. 
No, yeah, uh, I got two of them. Those. There's one there. Uh, and they're Nathan, little. They're not, what, what is, they're not what is the bottle I mean, number of that light? Um, um, I, I, someone's asking, what is, what is that light? Here's the big, that's the, oh, actually, here's the manual one right here. It is the 12 by 12 RGBW moving head. There you go. There, there it is. There, there, that's a, that's what it is. The 12 by 12 RGB moving head from Sheds. And you can no, get a new pistol revolver. I believe Sheds has a Amazon page as well. Uh, and then yeah, they, you, have, you have an affiliation with uh, Sheds, right, on your YouTube channel? Who, me? Yeah, you you go through your YouTube channel. It connects on to Amazon, and they can go directly. Uh, yeah, those are the ones they just sent to him. Yeah, these these are the ones they just sent to me. I got these maybe less a little. Well, I think tomorrow would be. Yeah, Wednesday was a week. So, how do you like them? I, I the video. I, I've been so dang busy. I hope to have the video up by probably Thursday because I'm busy all day tomorrow. All right. There's so, my bow, there's, there's my bow know, life. on Nathan's channel, DJ Fire on YouTube. Um, you can find him very quickly. Uh, you can actually find that video. light. Uh, he'll have a video up soon. He's always doing stuff. He's got tons of reviews. And Mike James has too, as well as Abe, as well as myself. All four of us have YouTube channels. Uh, of course, Absolutely. they're much bigger than I am. I'm just a small fry. So, Of course, here's the, <laughs> here's the big 10R. I mean, look at that lens. It's so, I mean, that's... so am I the big fry? I've got 1,200 subscribers. Uh, I've only been fire. on YouTube a year. DJ Fire's got almost 3,000, so... Sure. That's good. Yeah, he's got a little bit more. I've, I've been on YouTube <laughs> since last October, and I'm right around 340-something subscribers now, so... No, that's good. Hey, I'm working on, that's good. You guys I'm all working have on me, so... I mean, you see my content, Abe. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get people... No, in. you're doing good. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Doing good. I, You know, the, the good thing about... Especially me and Buddy, when we connected a, a few years back, he reached out to me because of my YouTube channel, and now we've come a long way. We have a great friendship, and oh, yeah. I like to I like to make friendships. The good thing about the YouTube thing and Instagram, Facebook, and everything like that is you get to meet new people. Like I'm talking to you and Nate here tonight, and uh, you guys seem great, and we never judge. You know what I mean? And uh, right. there, there's a lot of people out there, especially online, that like to judge other guys in the business or girls in the business. And it's right. just not fair. I see them on my like, channel. Yeah. It's just not fair. And I just like talking to people. I like to see what everyone's doing. I'm up here in Maine. You know, I do 25 oh, nice. weddings a year. I do 25 weddings a year. I've done it for... 18 years now. Uh, you guys are in Illinois. Yep. You know, I've got friends in uh, New York, California, the whole United States. I've got a couple of people I talked to in, in Australia. Australia. You know, that's the beauty of the interwebs. It's just awesome. You know, I mean? you know? Oh, yeah. It helps out. Oh, we got, we got a question for you, Mike. <laughs> Can you DMX RF1s, DJ Mike James? Can you DMX? I know you do wireless DMX. Can you do a hardline DMX? Because they have the, the yeah. wireless DMX from... No, you can't. No, it's all wireless. It's only the yeah. wireless DMX that is from Chave. I'm not Chave, from uh, Rockville. Well, and whoever's Rockville making DMX the system. RF... Boost. Whoever's making the RF products, they're just yeah. stamping their own names on them now at this point, you know? Yeah. There's a huge I mean, factor. It was, in China, originally, it was like, Ape Labs, and they had a them better and product. Their name on them. I, I've yeah, got, now, now it's whoever is paying to put their name on them. They're all the same. It's yeah. all the same. I've got a very good, a good valid point to, to match with Mike here. He's talking about whoever, you know, they're all coming from. Let's let's talk a little bit about trusting global trusts versus Cedars Link trucks. Trusts. Yeah. It's both F34. It's the exact same thickness. It's the exact same made. I guarantee we'll the same people that makes global trusts made that. Well, while we're on that conversation, we could talk about Pro X trusting too. You yeah, know, when I'm we're sure talking about old. YouTube, when we're talking about YouTube connecting us with people, like Pro X contacted me 
You know what I mean? Because of a video I did about my booth. That's that's the beauty of YouTube and the internet. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. If Pro if Prolex wants if Prolex wants you to try a product, or someone to try you to try a product, I say go ahead and give an honest opinion. I think they're going to say, I, I'm, say. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure Gabriel sent me a product. I, he, I messaged him night for last. He was like, Hey, I got this. Don't worry about it. It's on its way. But I was wanting it for a, for an event that's coming up, but now that's not going to happen. Cause I'm, I'm assuming they're working it out this week, but uh, either way that video will be coming up too. you. Know? So, so you guys, so you guys yeah. know um, Abe and Mike and uh, Nathan. Uh, I'm, I already talked to him, and hopefully we'll get everything settled in November. That's what I'm shooting for. In November, in the show, we're going to have, uh, so far, I, I'm looking at about probably two vendors. One is uh, Vibo, Mike from Vibo, and then Michael from uh, Astera Lights, uh, Chicago. They're the oldest Astera dealer in the United States. They rent as well as sell Astera. Uh, I talked to him, and uh, he'd love to come on the show. And again, they're, they're going to talk about the product a little bit, you know, and explain to it because it's products that I use, and I do use them. Vibo, I use all the time. Um, I've switched over from my Excel spreadsheet. This is my Excel spreadsheet. You can see kind of writing there. I'm not trying to show too much there, but you can see Excel spreadsheet. That's my old. Oh, I got your address. No, I have my address. It's just, <laughs> and then I'm messing with. I have. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And then I have from. Uh, this is uh, Vibo. Where I print out. You know, much much easier. This is an app. App base. We send the app to the customer, and then the customer fills in their music selections and fills in times and so forth and so on. It helps out a lot. It's a it's a great product. Um and we've been using it now for since the beginning of the year and it has helped out a lot, make us even more organized. We've been Tracy is very organized. This has made her like Uber organized. You know, we never missed anything, but it also it double checks and tells customers oh, yeah, hey I thought Buddy, I thought you, like me, I mean, I really like to meet my people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, I hand them the paperwork and I explain it to them and this and that. And, I, of course, doing anything online and booking online and paying online is going to be easier. But for me, I like that customer interaction and, and, and knowing the people <laughs> I'm working for or I'm working with. You know what I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I know you were advocating for that before. Yes, and we do meet the customer. Um what we've done is do a Zoom call, talk to them, get to know them, get them the contract, get the app to them. They they sign us, have their deposit. But we do have an in person meeting, usually a couple of weeks before the wedding. Like I I like that's what the past two Tuesdays I had to do was customer meetings to have them proof the music, talk to them. And again, we we try to get them on the Zoom call. We usually have a Zoom call usually an hour and a half to two hours because. We're talking to them, not just about their wedding, just something to get to know us. And right. That meeting, no, and that's very important. For me, it's hand. very important. Oh, yes. I, I, There's a guy here in town that does the exact same thing that Buddy does. Uh, and we've worked, well, me and Mike have both kind of worked with him. He's done, he done tables and chairs at my last event. Uh, Zach, my friend uh, with Kaz uh, Entertainment, I'll be with him helping do something. And he'll get a phone call, someone wanting to rent something. And I'd be like, are you going to answer that? And he's like, no. Uh, why not? It's business. Could be business. He's like, yeah, well, if it is, it'll go to voicemail. And my voicemail tells them where to go. They can go to the website. Everything they need to know is on the website. And they can book from there. No. I, 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 I want that personal touch. If someone calls my phone, I'm going to answer their phone. That's why I have a Google voice number. And it rings on my cell phone. It rings on my house phone. It rings everywhere, and the reason why I want that personal touch. If someone emails me a message, I'm going to call them. I'm going to old school. I'm going to give them a phone call and say, hey, you know, I'm going to leave a voicemail, and then follow up with the email if they don't call me back. I want that personal touch. I want to get a hold of them almost right away. And we have a question for you, Mike. Uh, they're asking, "Are you? what do you think about the New York Giants? 
Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I grew up in South Texas, and I've been a Giants fan since 1981. So well, I, I know you're teasing me with the, with over the Bears game this weekend. And, uh, yeah, goal. well, I mean, four field goals to two Daniel Jones rushing touchdowns, you know, I'll take that any week. <laughs> why did, why did you pull up the well, how about them Green Bay Packers? They no, <laughs> that that's uh, leave, you can mute it now. I'm gonna mute you here. Uh, leave the foot Packers out of this, man. I I just muted. I just muted uh, DJ Fire. He got muted. He got he got put on timeout. <laughs> I know you're like Mike, you're like Mike Greeny. You know what I mean? You're, you're gonna mute. You're gonna mute us as we're all doing our spiels. My half-ass Patriots almost beat the Packers this Sunday. Oh, my half ass Giants got to play him in Europe on Thursday or so, yeah, our early yeah. Sunday morning. I'm taking my oldest son down to uh, the Patriots game Sunday. Oh, Foxborough, Mass. Nice. Yeah, we're, they're playing Detroit. It's going to be good. Oh, that will be a good game. That'll, yeah, be, that'll be a close I, game, really. Cause I, will, I mean, I will it's say, just lost some, some heartbreakers. I, I will say I would rather have – and, again, I was kind of – this past weekend, I have, Tracy and I went for dinner – and we're watching the uh the uh not the Patriots. Yeah, it's a yeah, it was Patriots and Packers. And we yeah. don't want like the Patriots to win because we don't like the Patriots, but we hate the Packers more. So we're like, Patriots win, please. <laughs> so that we beat the Packers, but unfortunately they didn't. That was just the only team I hate, buddy, is the Dallas Cowboys. They can suck it every Sunday, and I could care less, dude. I, I, oh, I will post man. on Facebook every time they lose. All right. Unfortunately, well, that's uh, our only loss this year, but that's do, just me. Do we have any – you guys baseball fans? Yes, White Sox. The Cardinals are kicking A, triple S. <laughs> but, a, triple S. Oh, yeah, there we go. But, <laughs> no, Albert Pujols. A, triple I S. Like the only I, like, I like that. that that's – that doesn't mean it's a bad word, then. That's fine. <laughs> I'll yeah, look that back. Aaron called. Judge uh, is going to 62. Albert Pujols is 703 now, home runs? 700. No, he's, I'm pretty sure I've seen him on Facebook today. It's 703. Aaron but, Judge uh, got his 60 second. Yep. So, I, I've, been, I've been – I've been in college. Damn, he's been playing since I was just out of high school. It's been long enough. I don't know if the Cardinals will make it all the way to the World Series, but they're going to make the run for it. That's for sure. Well, the, the, Sox, the Sox would have done it if Tony La Russa didn't have uh, cardiac problems. I think they would have went to the playoffs. <laughs> how far they would have went, but I would have thought they went to the playoffs. So just just the give them more steroids, buddy. The what? Buddy's still thinking Frank Thomas is coming up to bat. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. He's retired. He's <laughs> commercial. <laughs> He still thinks Michael Jordan's coming up to bat. Buddy still yeah, thinks Michael Frank Jordan's running about that. Michael Jordan, Frank Thomas, like two seven players, something you know, he was bad. Mike, Mike Jordan, uh, play, you know, when he played for the Sox, and uh, <laughs> he, he did okay. He did okay. Oh, he did okay. He's a basketball guy. When you have, when you have a five, great. when you have a five foot strike zone, when you have a five foot yeah. strike zone, buddy, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah. my God! There's Peyton Manning. Have you guys seen that commercial? <laughs> I'll be right back. But yeah, but, it, but, uh, uh, next subject, you guys, we go on to other than sports. Um, this is something I ran into uh, watching a another YouTuber, and um, I'm, I'm not gonna say his name and stuff like that because everybody does different things. I just saw it. And uh, I'm like, okay, you know. But don't and to the subject was, and I'm, 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 the subject is, do you think drinking at a gig is a good thing? As a DJ, going there and having a drink or drinking. And again, I, I there's a subject I've seen before. I know other DJs talked about it. Um, and I want to give you my opinion. I'm the same as Abe. I don't feel as a professional, you're hired to do a job. You're hired to work there. It's like any other job. This is your own business. Going there and having a drink. I know some guys got to go and have a drink because they got to calm their nerves. They got to 
relax. They got to, you know, to get in the mood. And, you know, they, they drink a little bit. They're more of a party mood. I feel that it's unprofessional. Um, I feel that, you know, someone's got to have a drink or two, then they're not taking their business seriously. That's my opinion. Um, what do you guys think? I don't. I, I've i drank before, but like not like at events when I was younger, I drank, but I didn't. I just like, you know, that this is not for me. This is, you know, this is, I, I know I, I've had people walk up to me like, hey, you want a drink? And I'm like, no, I'm good. But uh, so, I mean, I, I don't drink. Now, I will say I know some DJs out there that do drink. And they can hold their alcohol really good. They'll drink one or two, um, and, and they're fine. You know, they don't cause any problems. They sit there, they do their job. They'll have one or two, you know, maybe three. But I, I don't, I don't drink. And I, I mean, I don't. As long as you can keep your cool and not cause problems with the bride and groom and upset them, you know. Well, what, I, what do you What do you think the optics are of that? They, uh, you know, you're. <coughs> here, here's a here's a scenario to think about. And this is the way I look at it. You are at a gig. You have a drink. You know, in my case would be water or Coke or pop, Pepsi or whatever. Um, and I'm drinking water. I'm drinking pop, you know. Um, and all of a sudden, an accident happens. Well, he was drinking. They can then give me a blood test. My insurance can come along, give me a blood test. My insurance can find out, were you drinking? No. I'll take a blood test. I can take a blood test. I'm going to have no alcohol in my system. If you have alcohol in your system, your insurance company may look at that. May I'm not an insurance expert. I'm not saying that. But they may look at that and say, we're not going to cover you because you had alcohol in your system and it's, it's your own fault. So that is one of the things that always, one of the many things I look at. Plus, I feel the optics of having beer bottles and i've seen plenty of pictures on the interwebs of djs with, with empty beer bottles and it's not from people coming and bringing them and dropping them it's from the actual dj or dj helper sitting there drinking them and i've always felt well, that that looks very bad because you did all this work and you want everything to look nice and then you have these bottles lying around it looks you know messy and again, having a drink, you know, having you know, like an iced tea can or a monster can or Red Bull, wherever your 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 non-alcoholic drink of choice is, water, pop, whatever. I have a problem with that. You know, you're we're there for long hours. I have a you know metal cylinder for a water bottle. I, I put water and I add my uh my flavoring in there. I have a problem with that. That you we need to, you know, drink. We can't just we're not camels. Uh, but <laughs> drinking alcohol, I feel that it, it's it's bad to do that, even if a guest, a bride, a groom, a father or mother, someone else comes and says, hey, have a drink. I think I just feel that looks bad. I, I feel like they're almost testing you to see, you know, are, are they um, are they testing me to see if I'm going to be a drunk or, you know, and all this, which, you know, I don't I've, I've had a few people hand me drinks and I'll be like, oh, OK, cool. And I'll set it to the side and I'll take it home with me or something and drink it at a later time or just forget about it or something or give it back to the bar. And be like, can you just throw this away. And I'm not thirsty or something. But one thing you talk about alcohol that drives me nuts, though, is we will we'll be sitting on um, like DJing and someone will be dancing and they'll set their beer on our speakers. I'm like, uh, no, no, thank you. And I had that a couple times at my class reunion. I hate to tell my classmates, hey, um, don't put that there. And then I'm like, and, and they looked at me weird, and I'm like, if that was to spill, it's hard to replace this unit right now because they're not available, you know. And they're like, oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. I'm like, this is a, you know, two, three hundred dollar to a twelve hundred dollar unit. You know, I don't want you to have to pay for that i don't want to have to shell out money for that i know i have insurance on my equipment but i don't you know want any of that so it you know and it happens every single event i mean whether it be i've never had bride and groom it's mostly uh wedding you know people there for the wedding it's never been the bride and groom they have you know decency not to do that it's never been the wedding party it's always someone that's there for the wedding that really don't give a care 
What about you? Well, I was, what, do you what do you think? I was a I was a nightclub DJ for like seven years, man, and my drinks were in my contract. You know what I mean? And it wasn't it wasn't necessary to get loaded because it was never that. It was just to kind of stay in tune with the party. Because at two o'clock when everybody's kind of lit, I want to sort of be in that same frame of mind, but not in the same way that you're thinking. You know right. what I mean? I so you. my contract was I got a beer an hour. You know what I mean? And that just kind of kept me in the pace of the event. You know what I mean? It didn't, it wasn't like, you know, and, and even the guy, like the owners of the bar were like, dude, you don't ever get messed up here. And I was like, no, I don't. That's not my job. But I do want to stay in the party mind with everybody. And after four or five hours, dude, I mean, you're, you're, if, if you're not doing something, participate, you know, as far as, you know, what's going on in the event, then, you know what I mean? Like, like for me personally, but it depends on the person, you know, not, not, not everybody can handle that, you know? Not everyone can drink a beer an hour and be okay with it, you know, and those guys, I would say, Hey man, you know, dial it back, do what you got to do to, to make it relevant for you. But for me, you know what I'm saying? Like when I get into the third hour and I'm bored because the bar don't pick up to the last couple hours, you know what I mean? So I'm there on a five hour shift. I kind of want to be in that same, it well, not in the same mindset, but in a similar mindset. And I don't, I mean, I don't feel like it looks bad on me because I can take my, I conduct myself as a professional, no matter where I go. What about you, Abe? What, what, what's your philosophy? Um, I don't, I don't drink at events. Um, I don't do. I mean, I started out in a bar back in two thousand and four. Now I was twenty two years old at that time, and like you, Mike, I was giving. You know, Dave, the owner, told me I could do whatever I wanted to. Free drinks all night. So, At 22, that's a mistake. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> I, I will say keep, that. Keep in mind, I wasn't 22 when I signed this contract. I was well into my 30s. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I, I understood. So totally I'd different. already done all that through college. You know? Right. So yeah, you're a little I more will mature. say <laughs> when, I first, when I first started at the bar i was up away from people they couldn't touch me i was it, it was like in a loft and i could look down on right. a dance floor and i had my share of drinking when i was doing it because the owner was a drunk himself and he didn't care they all as are long as I they kept all are. It going now as a mobile wedding dj now for a long time I can't do it. Um, and it's not because I can't hold my alcohol because I can have a beer, no problem. Uh, I just think, you know, if one person comes up to my table and sees me with a, even with just a regular cup with beer in it, sitting there, that has the chance of me for one, getting in trouble by the bride and groom, okay? Two, getting my name splattered all over social media saying, Total Events DJ Service, Abe, was drinking at our event. You know how many people that turns off? Um, so as far as weddings go, absolutely not in my eyes. Uh, do people do it? Yes. I've got a friend that's in the same town as I am right now. And he's the big dog. He's the big dog here. And he gets plastered at weddings. I don't do that. Not me. And I, I'm no. not joking. I did a wet. I have three weddings coming up this month. I did one two weeks ago, about 10 minutes away from here. And the owner of the venue, which I go to all the time, told me that this guy I'm talking about was absolutely obliterated doing his wedding a couple That's weeks unacceptable. Ago. Yes, it is. And, and that's, that's bad. And, that, and that's bad. It, it is bad. And I love the guy right to death. He's a great guy. He's the big dog here. All the power to him. 
I'm not going to conduct myself that way. Now, no, and I respect that. Yeah, but and, it also like it also like a lot of my books say like a lot of my books are people that know me. You know what I'm saying? Like they know me. They know same, me from the bars. Same here. They know me. And, and, right. and I get they know me personally. Me. Uh, same here. I, I get a lot of books. It's Maine's a big state, but we're small in that regard. Yeah, I know everybody population. in the state. Yeah, so, yeah, Illinois is the same way. Okay, so where I was going with that was I get offered a beer or a drink every single gig. If I know the people or I don't, it's just Mainers. We, we, we just, Hey, we we'll have a beer, you know, <laughs> you're my buddy or, you know, have a beer with us. Now, am I tempted? Of course I am. Of course I, I would love to have, you know, the groom comes up and he has a beer for me. That's cool. It makes me feel good. And I'll say, I can't. And they take it as an insult, and I explain to them why. <laughs> I can't just go ahead and drink my beer in front of everybody. Because people, there's always one person that can spoil your Cheerios. Yep. <laughs> social so, media, you know, social media. I do huge. not. It's huge. Uh, so I do I, not, especially at weddings. I haven't, I haven't had that problem at all, man. Like, honestly. No, well, that's, but again, I mean, you know, that, that's good, but. Like, like to you, man, like I said, I mean, I'm not there to get, wait, I'm there to do my job. You know what I mean? I understand and, having a drink or two. Uh, absolutely. I do. Mm -hmm. I, I absolutely, especially if you're in a bar setting. If, 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 if you're doing a club, sure. It's have true. a beer. They're built in, with the clubs, they're built into my contract. Yeah. Yeah. You know so, what I mean? It's, so I can, I can see on both sides of it. I just. I don't want to make a huge mistake, well, and I don't want to lose that. 25 bookings in the future and, and just because this, of right. a little drink. One thing is that I'm not trying to say that it's right or wrong. I feel it's bad, and again, everyone has to run their business the way they want to. And I'm not saying one sure. thing's right, one thing's wrong. I'm just looking at my thing mm -hmm. and the optics I look at it as. And it's one of the things that, again, Mike, Nathan, Abe, Ali, you know, me, we're four different people do things four different ways. It's not a right or wrong thing. It's always boils down to what you feel is best in your business. And, and that's that's the big thing is that, you know, we're not trying to say like an out or anything like that. That's what they want everyone to know. But I understand it. I understand that, you know, the optics of it can be bad. And especially with social media, it, it, you know, Someone can say something. I don't want that. You know, always been want that. Again, working at a bar like you did, Mike. It, it, you know, you 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 do everything. A long bar, time. You do you you do sporting events. You do weddings. You do everything. Yeah, I'm doing sporting events now, which we haven't even touched on yet. You know what I mean? Well, on, we will have to do the, it next week. What we the difficulty to that here. is, you know, because we we gotta start wrapping things up here because. Our hours up. I, I gotta, I gotta do a double header next weekend on Friday. One, you know what I'm one saying? Thing but... I want, one thing I want to touch on is how many bad experiences have Mike or me or Buddy or uh, Abe had with venues? Have you ever had any bad experiences? Like, of course, the owner of the venue. There is. There's, a, there's actually a video on Abe Alley's channel. That will be a subject. You know what, Nathan? We're going to table it for now and next week. Abe, you have to be here because you have to tell your story. I saw the video, and that's how I contacted you. For some reason, Abe, I'm, I'm going to check out your channel, too. Someone's going to turn their sound down. It's very, very echoey. Yeah, someone's yeah. going to sound really loud. Heard it. I'm getting a lot of feedback right now. It might be Mike. Uh... Oh, wow. this, 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 I'll turn my sound down. I got some. Yeah, we get some feedback. But are are you on Wi-Fi, Mike? Or are you on cell service? I I'm pretty sure I'm on my Wi-Fi. I don't have shit for cell uh, service. It, it's good now. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you may now. have been just right at the end of your your signal, and it may have been trying to get some Buddy, feedback when, on it. When do you want to cut this off? We're gonna we're gonna we're we're gonna end the show in a minute or two. We can talk a little afterwards, but we're gonna end the show in a, in a minute. But what uh, what were you saying, buddy? We'll we'll we're gonna table this for now, and we're going to pick it up next week because next week venues that have been bad. Abe's got a great story because I seen the video. 
Mike, I'm sure he has a couple of stories because he's worked with a few bars. Nathan, I know there's one for you I can think of, one of your videos. I have some stories yeah, too. Yeah. So next week we'll say that. So for everyone here watching, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on YouTube, we do this every Tuesday on Twitch at 8 o'clock Central Time, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's uh, 7 o'clock Mountain Time, 6 o'clock Pacific Time. Depending what time zone you're in, stop by, watch. We always have stuff going on. You can ask questions in the mm -hmm. chat. We love that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the person who came in tonight for chatting. Appreciate very much asking watch questions. Watch the replay on Buddy's channel. Watch yep, on TBM, on, 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 uh, on my channel at TBM Productions <clears throat> 1 on YouTube. Or you can come here on uh, Twitch, TBM Productions underscore Buddy. Thank you all. You guys all have YouTube channels, so make sure you follow them on YouTube. You find me on YouTube. Everything will be. Hey, babe, I'm going to take you on YouTube for sure, man. My channel will have their links on my channel on this feed next week. It'll be up up next Monday, like in, in the afternoon. Mike, Abe, and Nathan, thank you guys. I can't do this without you guys. I, I hey, can't thank you enough, guys. This is fun. We were laughing. We had a great time tonight. Oh, it's always, it's always. And again. You guys are in Illinois, and Abe's got to fly in. The, the four of us got to go to lunch or dinner or something one day. That that would be awesome. Oh, and TJ and Buddy. Now it would be cool to get all of us together. All right, guys. We're going to end the show. All right. Good night, guys.